Hello Puppet fans! And welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we will learn Puppet custom facts and will test to draw the custom fact. You can add custom facts by writing snippets of Ruby code on the Puppet Master. Puppet then uses plugins and module to distribute the facts to the client. Sometimes you need to be able to write conditional expressions based on site-specific data that just isn't available via factor. Or perhaps you'd like to include it in a template. Because you can't include arbitrary Ruby code in your manifests, the best solution is to add a new fact to factor. These additional facts can then be distributed to Puppet clients and are available for use in manifests and templates just like any other fact is. Now, how to load the custom facts. Factor offers multiple methods of loading facts, like $load backslash underscore path, or the Ruby library load path. The custom dir command line option. The environment variable factor lib. You can use these methods to do things like test files locally before distributing them, or you can arrange to have a specific set of facts available on certain machines. Ok so let's look at the Ruby load path to load the custom facts. Factor searches all directories in the Ruby $load underscore path variable for subdirectories named factor. And loads all Ruby files in those directories. If you had a directory in your dollar load underscore path like slash lib slash ruby, set up like this, hash tilde slash lib slash ruby. Factor. Rackspace dot rb. System underscore load dot rb. Users dot rb. Factor loads factor slash system underscore load dot rb. Factor slash users dot rb and factor slash rackspace dot rb. To create a custom fact usually you need two parts and most facts have at least two elements. A call to factor dot add fact underscore name, which determines the name of the fact. A set code statement for simple resolutions, which is evaluated to determine the fact's value. Facts can get a lot more complicated than that, but those two together are the most common implementation of a custom fact. So let's look at the example of creating a Java fact to list the path of Java. Here we will be using the Ruby load path to load the custom facts. So go to your Java repository and create a fact file which java.rb inside slash lib slash factor and add entries. Factor .add do set code end. For fact name I will use which Java and for set code I will use the command which Java to print the Java path. Now commit the file and deploy production environment by running the command puppet deploy production hyphen hyphen wait. Once deploy is successful go to node 1. And run command factor p which java, you should not get any fact value. Also run factor which java just to verify no core fact related to which java. You can also check all the module facts inside slash op slash puppet lab slash puppet slash cache slash lib slash factor slash directory. So now there is no fact for which Java, run puppet agent hyphen t to get the new catalog having which Java custom fact. Once the puppet run is completed you can verify the custom fact which Java has been created inside slash opt slash puppet lab slash puppet slash cache slash lib slash factor directory. And factor command is able to resolve the fact value now. 
Next how to execute shell commands in facts? Puppet gets information about a system from factor, and the most common way for factor to get that information is by executing shell commands. You can then parse and manipulate the output from those commands using standard Ruby code. The factor API gives you a few ways to execute shell commands. To run a command and use the output verbatim, as your fax value, you can pass the command into set code directly. For example, set code you name hardware platform. If your fact is more complicated than that, you can call factor colon core colon execution dot execute you name hardware platform from within the set code do and block. Whatever the set code statement returns is used as the fax value. Your shell command is also a Ruby string, so you need to escape special characters if you wanted to pass them through. OK, so let's take an example of executing shell commands in fact. So go to your Java module again and create fact. Factor.add hardware underscore platform, do set code do. Factor colon core colon execution dot execute slash bin slash you name hardware platform, and end. This fact will print the hardware platform information from you name. Now commit the file and deploy the code by running puppet code deploy. Once the deploy is successful test it on node 1 by running the command. Puppet agent hyphen t. Once the puppet run is complete verify that factor path if custom fact file has been created. And you are able to print the fact by running command factor hardware underscore platform. For custom facts use hyphen p and it will print the custom fact of your hardware platform. OK. So in this lecture we have learned about the custom facts so if you have time feel free to move on to next lecture.